guys it's pink daddy uh, after 437 days of waiting excuse me i finally got my can it's been 84 years got a uh, yankee hill machine um turbo t2 556 can i got it sitting on my uh 13.7 inch build this is the same build that i had previously i just took the barrel off uh, and put the 13.7 inch barrel on it yeah i really like this rifle setup um I got it stair-coated by, by my guy Nick, uh, Nick Reeves, check him out. Um, he's starting his own business, it's going to be called Wrong Hand Armory. If you want any gun work, any gunsmithing, uh, any kind of stair-coating, hit him up. He's really good at what he does. Um, perfect finish, I went with the OD Green, because um, I'm kind of switching up colors as far as my gear goes. I'm going with Ranger Green. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's take a few shots out of the Yankee Hill machine. I think we've only put maybe 10 shots through it so far since I got it. Um, so let's just kind of see what she does. All right, rifle's loaded up. All right, here we go. First couple shots. It's actually not warm. I mean, granted, it's freaking 45 degrees out here, but uh, feels good. Feels real good. I mean, it's hot as heck now, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really like it so far. All right, there we go, you guys. Just put a couple of rounds through my Yankee Hill machine or YHM Turbo T2 5.56 can. Um, I mean, it, even though this is my first time actually like shooting, shooting it, um, I'll be more than happy to do more reviews on it uh, or just more range time as well. Um, and also, I did want to say for my 13.7 inch build, I didn't have any issues when it was 16 inches long as far as like uh, cycling or anything like that. Um, this is just a, a standard buffer spring and uh, buffer, nothing special. And it seemed like it still cycled is just perfectly fine. I do have an H2 buffer and a JP Enterprises uh, tune and polish spring at the house. If it does ever come to it, I might have to use that. But man, it, it shoots. I mean, there's like no recoil to this thing at all. And 13.7 has always been one of my uh, dream builds and I finally got it for this. I'm never gonna change this rifle again I know I said that in my last review video, but uh, I kind of mean it this time for real. So yeah, there we have it uh, YHM turbo t2 suppressor um, Screw you ATF don't ever make me wait on my crap again. That was 437 days. You suck you try to take the rights away from uh, law-abiding citizens like myself and all my buddies I uh, hope you're watching and uh, for everybody else that supports me Besides them, thank you for watching. I love you. I'm sorry Brandon wasn't in this video. I don't know where he's at. He's probably uh, he's probably butt naked running around in the cold. Busting. But anyway, hope y'all have a great day. Um, stay tuned for more. Also, um, earlier in the video, I mentioned that uh, my buddy Nick Cerakoted my rifle. Um, if you want to look him up. On Instagram, his name on Instagram is Nick the Lefty. Uh, super chill guy. Um, he's a great shooter. He's a great gunsmith, and he's just a great man. Um, hit him up, give him some work, help him out, and uh, I appreciate you guys just following and supporting. If you want any work, hit up Nick the Lefty on Instagram. Any Sarah Cotner gunsmithing, follow me on Instagram at the Pink Daddy. Uh, same thing on Facebook. Uh, and yeah, appreciate you guys.